Hi, my name is Vicki Fairchild. I wanted to share some of the tender moments that I have witnessed as a psychologist working with amazing parents of children with disabilities. I don't know if the parents realized what these moments meant to me or my colleagues, but they were truly beautiful. One of my most profound experiences was when I was assessing a child who had very significant physical and mental deficits. I didn't know what I was walking into. The file hadn't been given to me prior to the assessment and I had only had the name and contact information. When I walked in, the mother greeted me and I didn't see the child and asked and she took me to him in a crib and picked him up and we walked out to the living room and she just held him while she talked to me. She stroked his hair and his face and she only looked at him. She glanced at me, but as she was talking about this precious child, um, it was like they were encompassed about by a little cocoon of love. That's the only way I could describe it. And I, I didn't want to do anything to damage anything in that room. I don't know how to explain it. I, I didn't want to detract from the feeling of purity. And I found myself talking very softly and just mesmerized by the connection between this mother and her child. It was truly sacred. That moment was just, it was so beautiful. I, I didn't even know what to say or do or how to write about it. I, I wanted to say in my report, this child is an angel and his mother is angelic, but I didn't think it would pass. <laughs> but that's truly how it felt. And for years, whenever I drove by that street, I would slow down and I could still almost feel that purity and that love that was present in that first meeting with that mother and her beautiful child. Another time was with a father and it was during an IEP meeting and oh, I think nearly everyone in that meeting had to pause. I even have to pause now as I'm picturing this father who um, gently was wiping some saliva off his son's face. The son struggled um, with some muscle control and it was with such gentleness. We all had to pause. I remember making eye contact with the teacher and her eyes were filling with tears and my eyes were filling with tears. And it was one of those moments where we just didn't feel like we should be in the room. Another interaction that I've seen many times that I love, but is still very precious, is the reunion at the end of the school day. I love watching kids light up when they saw their parents and parents equally ex as excited to see their children. Um, even though they had just seen them in the morning and having them sometimes run to each other or walk quickly to each other, but just that reunion. And then afterwards, I've always enjoyed watching them walk hand in hand, arm in arm to the car, just knowing that there was so much love there. Um, it's one of those times where the world feels right and the world is good. Watching that love walk together down the hallway.